Well, hey, how y'all doing? I'm Sharonda, and welcome to Random Reads and Things in Between. Also, Beyonce started the internet. <laughs> so, as always, I'm here to talk about a book. And that book is The Senator's Daughter by Amaka Azi. I hope I'm saying that right. But let's get into this thing, shall we? All right. So, hey, how y'all doing? This is my first video for July, child. I I just... <laughs> But anyway, before I go any further, um, of course, the cover, the book cover will be on the side of me. Y'all know what side, child. Anyway, but um, yeah. So this book I had on my Kindle for a while, child. I'm trying to clean out my Kindle, trying to get some of them books that been sitting on there a while, read and out. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway. So in this book, we have Rita, who is the senator's daughter, who is kidnapped by Nosa, who becomes her love entrance in this book. Now, Rita is kidnapped because of her father's uh, old trifling ways. OK, uh, Nosa had an ex fiance who died because her father, who is now a senator, uh, used to run this uh, this pharmaceutical company is still in the family, which is being run by uh, Rita's uh, step brother youngest stepbrother and um you know but uh the pharmaceutical company uh put out some bad drugs and nosa's ex-fiance was one of the people that died from it okay so nosa and his friends are out for revenge okay they like no you you got to we we got to expose you we no and you gonna pay us okay so but rita they come up with the plan to kidnap Rita um, to get the father to confess to his, uh, you know, to what he did. So when we, Rita really comes off as like a flighty character in this book. Um, I liked Rita. I enjoy her character on page. Uh, she does cut. Like I said, she does come off flighty in the book, but uh, she's also very serious, very smart. Um, when she needs to be, but she plays this kind of like spoiled um pampered princess because that's the 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 part people want her to play um you know uh women uh you know from reading the book it seems like women aren't very very taken very serious um so you know she just does what she wants to do and you know as in that regard um so when she's initially kidnapped by Nosa, um, you know, she's fighting and stuff like that. But, you know, as t as the couple of days that she's there, you know, you start to have this attraction that she's starting to feel towards. Ain't that always it, though, uh, that she's uh, uh, starting to feel towards Nosa. And Nosa is feeling the same way. But Nosa, who hasn't been with anyone except his fiance, <laughs> his ex fiance, or since she died, is kind of like you know he doesn't know what to do with his feelings for that he's starting to feel towards Rita like when he was following her he just felt like she was just a spoiled pampered kind of woman really didn't do anything serious didn't take anybody serious things like that but he also saw like the people around her how the people around her treated her how her friends treated her and stuff like that so he felt a little bit of sympathy towards her but he was just like mm, he also because of the way she kind of like put on that front he also didn't think she would just be like this very sweet kind serious person that he starts to get to know uh the longer they stay in this uh space uh that he's ha uh, being her held in uh that he's ha that he has her held in and stuff like that so it was very very um you know I thought the romance that was going on between them was just like very sweet nothing like over the top or anything like that um once they start to get to like know each other and then once nosa tells her about you know the reason why he kidnapped her and you know her father you know uh, putting out these bad drugs and stuff like that first Rita like no not my dad like he 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 really fucked up senator like he really even shouldn't honestly even be senator you know <laughs> she kind of like that you know what i'm saying um plus her father was a real big womanizer child so um she like you know no my dad wouldn't do that but once uh nosa shows her the proof that he's been building up all these years and nosa is like ex-military you know he he about his shit you know and now he's like into gaming 
as far as like creating these games and stuff like that. So he well off now and stuff like that, but he had a really terrible uh, past and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, once he starts showing her the proof, she's like, oh, damn, dad, like really? Um, and once the, um, the plan of them kidnapping her, using her kidnapping as a way to get the father to, um, Ex, you know to confess to you know what he did and stuff like that that kind of like falls through so they had to come up with another plan child guess who on the plan Rita asked Rita is in on the plan Rita like listen this ain't working you know and we don't know why it's not working let's pretend like I escaped I'm gonna bring Nosa in as my new bodyguard because the old bodyguard he about to be fired child because he wasn't she wasn't supposed to be out his eyes. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be tracking her everywhere. And the man let her go. The man just... And that's how Nosa was able to kidnap her or whatever. But anyway, but Rita was sneaky as hell too, child. So, <laughs> so um, you know, this is what happened. So when that part fell through, you know, Rita said, you know, I escaped. I'm going to get a job at my father's pharmaceutical company and we're going to get the information we need and expose them because if they really did do this, then he needs to be called out. He needs to be exposed and the families that suffered, you know, because of this need to be compensated and stuff like that. And first, no saying his friends like, mm, girl, I don't know, maybe, you know, you might just, we let you go and you, you ain't going to do nothing. And then we're going to be back at square one. And Rita is, like I said, she does kind of like go that route. But she's she stuck to her guns. I was like, Rita, if you screw these these people over, especially Nosa, I'm gonna beat you up. But anyway, so anyway, um, you know that ends up happening. That part of the story comes in. The kidnapping plot is off the table now, and now we're going to a plot where she's actually helping Nosa and his friends or her kidnappers uh, expose her father. But child, they. It, it, all other stuff start falling out the damn closet, child. We kind of found out that it really wasn't the damn um, daddy. It was damn the youngest stepbrother who is now in charge of the pharmaceutical company. Because daddy was like, child, I'm, you, you gonna handle that now. I, I'm, I'm over here in government and yeah, even though he still had damn office at the company, he still child, Rita's daddy was a mess. But, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, he was still coming there occasionally. But, you know, everything pretty much was le left to the youngest uh, son because he was now head of this pharmaceutical co company and they kind of found out that it wasn't the daddy it was the goddamn son that was doing it and the reason why he did it child it it was a mess and then like also we kind of found out like stepbrother was doing other shit uh, the author does go into conversations on how um, homosexuality is viewed in uh, Nigeria and how the people there uh, if they do come out as, you know, uh, lesbian or, uh, you know, gay or anything like that, they're actually uh, criminalized. You know, they actually are thrown in jail and shit like that. You know what I mean? So the brother was trying to hide his sexuality because he didn't uh, want that that stigma, I guess, as is viewed in Nigeria placed on him and that he was on the track to be the next senator and he you know his mother uh Rita's stepmother had all these ambitions for him and child they were it, it was like the story was wild they, they was trying to marry her off to the dude the brother was fucking with y'all I was like child where my teacup because what <laughs> what and it's just crazy but you know when that's when Rita starts realizing like once she get inside the father's company she's like wait a minute it's not that like and she's telling Nosa like this isn't my father like he he really simple child he 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 ain't, he ain't that you know he's smart but he ain't that smart and they kind of find out that it's the brother but um, to get into the romantic part of this book, I really enjoyed the relationship between uh, Nosa and uh, Rita. It was just very sweet on page. Nosa is such a cinnamon bun. He was only with like one woman who was ex fiance. So, and, and, and Rita is a very experienced cow. So, you know, she pretty much throwing herself at him at this point, <laughs> at some point in the book. And Nosa, he ain't know what to do. He was like, child. And um his ex fiance's brother was like, Man, if you don't get with that, 
Like, what in the world? And he had other worries and stuff like that, you know, with her being coming from money and stuff like that. Like, even though he had his own money now, that's not what his past was. But, like, the more they got to know each other on page, and I, I always say this when I'm reading romances, I always feel like we kind of, like, skip, like, the dating part that should be on page inside of the book right especially when these two people are trying to get to know each other it's kind of like oh my god he kidnapped her and now they're in love and they're going to be together and it was like what, what, what happened to them getting to know <laughs> like even though they were getting to know each other a little bit inside you know when he had her you know captive or whatever it was good that the author put them actually romance and like we you know they did have like a kissing scene or whatever and before Rita was, Rita was like, ooh, come on now, get take it. And he was like, no, I want to date you because you deserve that. Because she was always, you know, feeling down about herself, how people treated her, never took her serious. You know, the men in her life used her because of her family status and her own money and stuff like that. So Nosa was like, no, I want to date you. I want to take you out on dates. I want to woo you. I, I want to do these things, you know, to make, because you deserve it. You don't deserve how you was treated before. You deserve to be treated as someone who's to be cherished and loved. And child, I was in here like, child, wait. I said, I gotta go to Africa to get me a Nosa? Because what the fuck? But anyway, so. <laughs> but child, I love that she actually had them, uh, like she had them dating on page. You know, now that he was her bodyguard, you know what I mean? It was good to see the author put that on page i love that now i do feel like the story like once we you know rita was no longer captive and they were trying to find out you know information on the father's pharmaceutical company and bring you know and expose them and stuff like that it got a little bit murky not murky it got a little yeah murky you know it kind of like that it kind of like dragged the story along between them dating even though i appreciated that and you know them trying to find out the information on trying to expose the father and the pharmaceutical company and stuff like that but outside of that i really enjoyed this book it was just so good love the romance between nosa and rita i just thought and what nosa gets being this really sweet cinnamon bun and you know rita kind of just kind of like you know Rita being rita you know what i mean it was just a really good book like i really enjoyed it but i love it um check it out um this is a series so i have to go and get the other books child because this was like reading a little nollywood uh drama child because the more stuff that came out i was just like <laughs> it, it, it it was it was wow you know what i'm saying especially like when the, at the end when the brother like took uh rita and nosa had to go save his woman child i was in there like y'all but yeah this is, a really, this is a really good book but i do enjoy the conversations as well outside of the romance and the drama i do love the conversations that the author has on page in regards to mental illness uh dealing you know as, as far as uh how it comes uh uh how it's looked upon you know even here like people just don't take mental illness serious like uh Rita's mom suffered from uh bipolar disorder and how that affected her relationship and how the father just didn't take it serious instead of getting the woman help he he had it locked up in the house and it, it, it was just it was just really wild uh reading it and also like her her conversations on how like I said um people view same-sex uh relationships uh, in Nigeria and how people in Nigeria are like criminalized uh, for um, being in same-sex relationships but um yeah it was a really good story I liked it like yeah so if you are interested definitely check out the book um yeah I yeah yeah and like diversify yourself outside of just reading black american romance read black romance outside of black americans you have a lot of african rom african romance authors things like that but yeah so and until the next one later days bye